Recently, a former Hate 343 dev actually talked about Last Spartan Standing, right? That mode that people seem to really like, but then no one played, apparently. <laughs> And Zach Boyce here recently went up onto Twitter kind of talking about it because it was a reply to Star Asia. We aren't ready for this conversation, but IMO Last Spartan Standing was the most innovative mode in Halo Infinite. And that's a like, true Last Spartan Standing. There was something there. There was a really good base that you could probably add on to the game that would be freaking awesome. But I felt like Last Spartan Standing had a really good potential, but it wasn't really fully used realized former Halo Infinite developer over here who was kind of charged with like a lot of game modes and stuff like that actually just recently retweeted this saying it really needs some quality of life updates and some time to address feedback before it made a reappearance hope it does and at the time we thought limited time seasonal stuff as experimental which felt freeing was super stressful making something so quickly, but looking back on it, it was fun. I definitely got that feeling. We definitely, I think we all got that kind of feeling, right? When it came to just like the seasonal content that would, went back when, when Halo did seasons. <laughs> they didn't really feel like the game modes were like fully cooked, right? But they felt like there were kind of people just trying, developers trying things out to see if what could work. I totally agree with them on this as well though, saying like it definitely needs some quality of life improvements and some feedback updates as well before it was brought back like if, if they just brought back last part saying and again it would just be a dead it would be dead on arrival so i replied to him on twitter saying like i appreciate the insight i felt like there was a great foundation for the mode i guess it wasn't played enough from what sketch told us duo's version would have been interesting because i think that mainly like probably the main reason why a lot of people don't play is because a lot of casual people from my experience of playing halo keep an eye ear to the ground of what people are playing, what they like about it, that casual players just don't really care much for free for all when it comes to Halo because like, oh, you stole my kill. You know, you put three three or four, three or four shots of a battle rifle into somebody and someone else picks them off with a headshot. You're like, hey, that was mine. Why'd you do that? I think that's what the main thing that really kind of hurt the mode. And I think also having like the set loadouts was got, made the gameplay repetitive pretty quickly. But the thing he actually replied to me on Twitter, which was actually kind of cool. For the feeling was we shouldn't put it back out without iterating on some things the community had given feedback on. Player population stu playlist stuff is kind of self-defeating thing in my opinion, but I get why he, uh, he said that. And I, you know, it makes sense too, right? Like if no one's playing it, why put that effort into playing the game? But of course then it was one of those things where it's like, maybe if you brought in some iteration on it and some community feedback that could have been a really awesome mode. There was something there. People have always talked about what would a battle royale play like in Halo. That was basically a battle royale in Halo. Created by the developers, you could search in matchmaking. That wasn't exactly the battle royale we had in mind, but I think it was, again, like something they probably just were like, we only have like so much time. How can we make a battle royale like game? That's not, yeah, within a certain amount of time, that's probably the best option that they had, which was a pretty creative option, I would say. I really hope to see Last Spartan Stadium come back, which by the way, in that most recent Halo Infinite trailer uh, that just went live, it actually showed Last Spartan Standing as like a cool mode you can play in Halo, which no one's really played it since what, season two, I think is when I came in. Cause it gave you like a list of different like cool game modes you can play in Halo. I know it's like still available within like custom games and stuff like that, but people haven't really played a whole lot of custom games within Halo Infinite, to be honest. I mean, the custom game browser is kind of quiet. You can see right here, you got like Slayer, Total Control, Oddball, Attrition, Capture the Flag, Keep the Hill, Tactical Slayers, Escalation, Slayer, Elimination, Stockpile, Team Snipers, and Last Spartan Standing, Covert, One Flag, land grab, BTP heavies, and strongholds. I was like, okay. And then right after that, they started showcasing like battle across 70 plus maps. The majority of those being made in Forge. And then it was showcasing, like, I don't know what this is all about. Like they were trying to hint at some new mode coming in or something. Then they started showcasing like the battle royale that you can make ultimate tower defense one with like AI just kind of runs through. My first thoughts when it came to this trailer, Halo Infinite, releasing this trailer which ultimately i think the trailer was freaking sick like this trailer is awesome they did a great job of showcasing what the game has to offer now and what you can actually do in halo infinite you know people might not be super aware of like hey like check out all these cool things you can do within the game now and halo Infinite has really come a long way from the launch of it to where it is right now I just feel like a lot of momentum of Halo Infinite has died off since they announced that they're no longer doing seasons and doing operations and operations are basically store updates with like some minor additions here and there, like a, a new forge map or something like that, you know, nothing really like thematically different or anything that makes you really change your gameplay. 
of playing Halo Infinite whenever a new season com or operation comes in, right? It's really kind of the same experience with like a little bit of extra thing, shop update. We got the exchange now in the most recent operation update. You know, we got a couple of forge maps that came in. Other than that, it's really kind of the same experience where you're still jumping in, you're playing Team Slayer, you're jumping in, you're playing in rank, you're playing BTB again and again and again. There really isn't much in the way of things that you can play that are new within Halo at the moment, which feels like it just like that's the main thing Halo Infinite and just Halo in general, honestly, I feel like it's really kind of struggling with is the fact that like it's just kind of the same experience over and over again. And then even if a new experience does come into Halo, that it just feels like it's kind of a rehashed experience that we have had for the last 20 plus years of the franchise. Which I know that like a lot of people will say that, oh, we need to have this mode in Halo because it's core to the Halo experience, like Griff Ball or something like that, or Husky Array and things of that nature. But then it's all kind of the same things that we've been playing over and over and over and over again. But then this time in Halo Infinite. And it just doesn't really excite me that much as a, as a, a hardcore Halo player, right? Like, guys. I've been keeping up with Halo content since, I don't know, uh, 10 plus years now at this point. Like, it's been a hot minute. <laughs> like, I've been a dedicated Halo channel since, what, the Master Chief Collection? Since Halo 5, really? Since, like, 2015, 2014? Maybe I'm just, like, been too much into the weeds of Halo to a, I'm not able to enjoy things that come to Halo that have been in the franchise previously, right? Because maybe I just played too much. That could be the case where I'm just like overly saturated with just Halo things in my brain right now. So whenever they bring back things like Husky Ray back into the game, I'm like, that's cool for a day. You know, <laughs> I'll play it. But I was like, yeah, I've played it before back in Halo 4, played it back before in Halo 5 uh, and also like an MCC as well. I just kind of I'm really just craving something new with Halo kind of rounded back to the this trailer though, right? For me watching this trailer is like it's odd that it gets released now because I, it just gives me a feeling that this is what Halo is going to be from now on for when it comes to Halo Infinite and there's I, I'm just getting the maybe it's just me kind of impart parting my own experience with Halo Infinite and putting my biases in this but i feel like this is kind of like a this is what halo is going to be in the future guys and this is going to be like kind of like the last permanent trailer so like it will la stand the test of time of what halo has to offer for people right because mainly because i don't think we've really had like a this is halo trailer since the launch of the game if i'm correct about this right like there hasn't really been like a trailer that showcases everything you can do within the game since the launch. I mean, it's probably amazing because like there's been so many key features that have been coming into Halo Infinite over the past two and a half years now at this point, right? Yeah, two and a half years, almost three years now. It would be tough to advertise the game when every feature or every game mode you expect to be in Halo isn't in there at the moment, like Infection or really all the game modes that they showcase right here, right? Like, uh, okay, maybe not like Infection. They showed Extraction, which again, it's kind of like a Halo 4 mode. That was kind of cool but nothing too crazy. Husky Ray, which is another classic mode. Uh, Super Fiesta, which has just been Fiesta, which has been in Halo since uh, Halo 3, if I remember correctly. Uh, Squad Battle, which is just regular BTB. Firefight, which is the mode that people expect to be in Halo. All these other modes as well, which are most of them are, some of them are, well, actually probably about half of these are actually kind of like new modes, right? Or a third of them are new modes, but you know, or there's just variations of what has already been in the game. Like the only thing that's really technically new in this list of modes that's for Halo Infinite would be like Attrition, Last Spartan Standing, or in Total Control as well. So you got some new modes, but most of them are just kind of chasing the uh, the old feels that you had previously. It feels like an odd time for this trailer to kind of come into existence and trying to flex of what you can do within Halo. Like you're even trying to flex like custom games that like that people have wanted to make in Halo. Or did you have to play through a custom game browser like the Battle Royale, Tower Defense Ultimate, uh, the Silent Cartographer remade within Halo Infinite, which is Nikos did an amazing job on this. Uh, I think I have a video on my channel to playing this, if I remember correctly. There was a lot of really cool recreated CE modes or maps and other campaign modes. And they also, they advertise the fact that you can play split screen multiplayer on console as well. I know a lot of people want to see it on PC, but let's be real, like how many people are playing PC split screen? Not many. 
course, it could be one of those things like the chicken and the egg thing where it's maybe that, you know, not a lot of people are playing PC split screen because it's never really an option or people don't really think of it as an option. But it's like, like if Halo offers this, like play PC split screen, it'd be like the only like game out there that really has it as an option. I just feel like this trailer was kind of like, uh, like almost like a, a final send off to advertise Halo. It'd be like, all right, guys, the game's content complete. We have an XP system now as well, right? And now we have billions of armor customization options compared to millions that we had at the launch of the game. But again, kind of failed to mention a lot of that's tied behind the shop. You know, but there are things you can unlock by just playing the game, obviously, um, with the previous battle passes and things like that. And if you buy into any of the operation passes, I think having like a one free armor set for an operation for 20 tiers, I think it's a fair offer to players, right? It just seems like all the customization that you can get when you come, or I shouldn't say all because it's not, but like, but it's like 90% of the customization per operation is tied behind the paywall. You're not really providing players an option to grind for that content right you can't earn in-game currency by just playing a game like you can with like call of duty or something like that right you can now earn currency through the exchange but that's all content that was already available for you to unlock that was tied either behind like an event that's not coming back or a promotion that we know it's not happening again like with like i don't know, like red bull or monster or whatever nail polish company they were working with right or maybe it wasn't in your region and stuff like that and they have some new content there as well but just like crazy expensive like the new um coding this trailer is kind of like a final send off saying this is this is halo halo if an extended multiplayer trailer yeah the top comment on this one too is is like it kind of hits as well with the top comment on this saying just imagine the hype if this was day one content trailer right oh i mean that's going to be the general story of halo if it, of it just being like a what if story what it should have been but that's what literally Every player feels about about Halo Infinite. Even the developers feel like that about Halo Infinite as well. It's like, man, if only kind of thing. There was so much potential. It was doing everything so right. And the gameplay was great. Campaign was great. But then like this live service just was not ready. <laughs> the game was not ready for a live service. It was slow to updates, right? Like BTB was broken for how many months after the launch of the game? The game launched in December and it broke like that month, right? Or something. Didn't get fixed for months. And that was like supposed to be like the big mode, right? Bigger BTB. That's the new cool mode, right? Ish. Cause it's like BTB hadn't launched with Halo since um halo 4 which is just wild to think about but hey yo, we, we are where we are kind of thing something just feels a little weird to me about this trailer does anyone else feel like that when it comes to this trailer feels odd to release it just kind of out of the blue now trying to showcase like all the different weapons you know you can models you can basically pay for right some of them you can earn by just playing showcasing the max rank reward with the master chief armor set which is cool then some of these gameplay moments that they choreographed were really freaking cool like how many times do they have to run through that to land that perfect? Like this series of events is just insane that they're able to choreograph this properly. Cinematically, it looks amazing as well. The trailer itself is freaking fire. Like it's awesome. Does anyone else feel weird about it or is that just me? Am I the only one that's feel weird about this trailer coming out now? 